Welcome to Jason Bowman Loves Cars. I'm Jason Bowman, and I love cars. Today I'm going to tell you my story of the BMW Z3. I hope you enjoy it. It happened again. I was searching under $10,000 in manual transmission on Facebook Marketplace, and a BMW Z3 came up in my search. Translation. Canadian Z equals American Z. I like the... Poor shop. Box drive found, my first thought was WTF is wrong with this poor thing. A Z3 specific search turned up a bunch of them for under $10,000. To be honest, being a poor parts person that sells seemingly endless Dodge Journey brake jobs for a living, I never paid much attention to BMW Z3s. Now the poors, like myself, can afford Z3s, it is time to see what they're all about. The letter Z stands for... Which in German means future. BMW's Future Mobile was a two-seater sports car which was produced from 1995 to 2002 and was called the Z3. There were two body styles, two-door Roadster E36-7 model code, two-door Coupe E36-8 model code. The BMW Z3 was built upon the E36 3 Series platform. However, it borrowed the rear semi-trailing arm suspension from the 3 Series E30. In 1991, the Z3 Roadster development team was led by... Design the exterior. Hi, I'm Jackie McLaren. Please remember to like and subscribe and comment to Jason Bowman Loves Cars. The design was finalized in 1993. The production began on September 20th, 1995. The coupe model design was a passion project that a small group of BMW engineers designed off the clock on their own time. The coupe shares the same platform and parts with the Roadster, but the structure was 2.7 times stiffer in comparison. Not two and a half or three times stiffer as they were German engineers. The Z3 coupe was debuted at the 1997 Frankfurt Motor Show. The Z3 production marked the first time a BMW model was solely manufactured outside of Germany. It was manufactured in lovely Greer, South Carolina. The E36-7 Roadster, German car enthusiasts and cool kids only use chassis codes, started production in September 1995. The first patch were powered by four-cylinder engines. I6 engines were introduced in 1996. A removable hardtop was available as an option. The E36-8 Coupe, I feel more German just saying that code, started production in January 1998. Wisecrackers like myself immediately nicknamed the design Clown Shoe. Those crazy Germans called it... Sport Shoe. The coupe body only came with a six-cylinder engine. The Z3 had, by my count, 11 different engines over the years. I'm going to concentrate on the engines I believe were available in Canada. Because I am a Canadian, eh? The first engine I'm going to talk about is the M44B19. It was the only engine choice available in 1996. It was a 1.9-liter four-cylinder that had 138 horsepower and 133 foot-pounds of torque at 4,300 RPM. This engine was available between 1996 and 1999. The second engine I'm going to talk about is the M54B25. It was a 2.5 liter inline six with 184 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 175 foot-pounds of torque at 3,500 RPM. This engine was available from 1999 till 2002. The third engine I'm going to talk about is the M52B28. It was a 2.8 liter inline six with 189 horsepower at 5,300 RPM and had 203 foot-pounds of torque at 3,950 RPM. The M52B28 got a technical update and became the M52TUB28. The M52TUB28 featured double Vanos, which improved low RPM torque. Vanos stands for its... Which literally means variable camshaft timing. The magic of Vanos unleashed one more horsepower for a total of 190, but more importantly, an increase of torque to 207 foot pounds of torque at 3,500 RPM. The fourth engine I'm going to talk about is the M54B30. The M54B30 was a 3 liter and had 228 horsepower at 5,900 RPM and made 120 foot pounds of torque at 3,500 RPM. I'm not going to include the M cars or their engines because I can't afford either, and talking about them just makes me sad. 1996 Highlights The BMW Z3 debuted in the James Bond movie Goldeneye. It was also featured in the 1995 Newman Marcus Christmas catalog. BMW actually sold out of Z3s before the first one was released to the public. 1997 Highlights The 2.8 liter 190 horsepower i6 engine became available in the Z3. 
1998 highlights the Roadster gets an optional power-operated top. 1999 highlights the new Z3 2.8 is released. All models get standard side airbags. The 1.9 liter four-cylinder engine goes in the bin. Replaced by the 2.5 liter inline six on the entry-level Roadster. 2000 highlights. Dynamic stability control becomes standard on all Z3s. The Roadster got new L-shaped taillights with clear turn signals and a fully lined convertible top. New wheel designs also appeared. The sound system got some added thump with the addition of two subwoofers. 2001 highlights. The base 2.5 liter engine got a 15 horsepower increase. An optional 5 speed Steptronic auto tragic transmission became available for the mentally ill and the uncoordinated. 2002 highlights. A CD player became standard equipment. Wait, WTF? Yes, a cassette player was standard previously. I googled it. Stock performance. 0 to 60 times claims the 1996 Z3 1.9 liter I did 0 to 60 in 8 seconds and did the quarter mile in 16.1. 0 to 60 times also claims the 2001 Z3 3 liter Roadster did 0 to 60 in 5.9 seconds with a quarter mile time of 14.1. Aftermarket performance. The aftermarket is strong for the Z3. Common mods are a cold air intake, cap back exhaust, header, cams, supercharger kit, racing. Z3s are often drag raced. Wow, that Z3 took that golf R to Gapplebees. These Z3s are a popular car to autocross. Z3s are a popular choice for road rallies. Racing comes naturally. As does drifting. Crazy Bugger does off-road trials in the Perhaps the best use of a BMW Z3 is driving down a windy country road on a beautiful sunny day. What was that? Wowzers, another jackalope sighting. Run. Buying a BMW Z3. The tin worm may have to sit this one out as Z3s are not known to have rust issues. It would be a good idea to check the car for signs of poorly executed collision damage. I rate my scripts for my videos from beginning to end, and during the process I kept thinking, I wonder what god-awful bring my wallet, BMW, slash German car problems these things have, not being overly familiar with them. Good news. From the research I did, I couldn't find that many skeletons in the Z3's closet. The scariest problems appear to be cooling system related. 
If the 1.9 liter M44B19 overheats and blows a head gasket, it is said to be cheaper to replace the engine with a good used one than it is to repair the old one. BMW claims an overheat weakens the structure of the block and the head bolts can strip upon reinstallation. Mechanics have successfully helicoiled or tapped the block for larger bolts. Both options are terrifying. There are many reasons for a Z3 to overheat. The most common failure point is the radiator. The rad is aluminum with plastic tanks. The tanks get brittle and crack with age. Radiator replacement is recommended every 50,000 miles or 5 years, whichever comes first. One BMW expert went as far as to saying the radiator is guaranteed to crack within 100,000 miles. It is a good idea on both the i6 and the 4-cylinder to check the service history for water pump and thermostat replacement. The thermostats are a common failure point, but thankfully they generally fail open. The only other thing mechanical of note is the starter motor. When the starter motor fails, the experts agree removing the intake manifold is the best way to get to the starter. The dowel for the starter is known to seize in place. With the intake manifold removed, driving the dowel out is much easier. The other reoccurring gripe while doing my research was the convertible top module tends to fail on power top models. Haggerty claims the average value of a 1998 4-cylinder Z3 to be $12,300. They also claim the average value of a 1997 2.8-liter Z3 to be $13,300. Finally, they claim the average value of a 2002 3-liter Z3 to be $16,700. A quick look on Facebook Marketplace confirmed Haggerty to be on the right track with their pricing. Getting a nice Z3 for well under $10,000 looks to be a limited time offer, however, as these cars are expected to dramatically rise in value in the next five years. What under $10,000 enthusiast car would you guys like to see a video about? Please leave your pics in the comments. Thanks for watching Jason Bowman Loves Cars and my story of the BMW Z3. I hope to see you next time.